Throughout my life, I've seen what America's enemies can do, foreign and domestic, and I've always responded. In 1979, I saw it when Iranian terrorists took 52 Americans hostage. Then in 1980, I joined the Marines the day I turned 18. In 1983, as a Marine deployed to Beirut, I saw it when a Hezbollah suicide bomber killed 241 of my brothers. My unit, Weapons Company, was deployed at the airport and tasked with securing the perimeter. Then I engaged the enemy. On 9-11, I saw what America's enemies can do on the home front. As a businessman, I worked across the street from the World Trade Center. After the first plane hit, I ran to the scene to help. At 9.59 a.m., I was with a firefighter and a policeman when the South Tower collapsed on us. We found cover in a parking garage, and when the dust settled, I helped evacuate hundreds of people onto ferries and tugboats. I saw it in business after discovering that Eric Prince, the chairman of the logistics company I worked at, decided to provide security services to the Chinese government. I confronted him, resigned, and blew the whistle, then reported him to the Department of Justice and the State Department. On January 6th, I saw my own congresswoman, Lauren Boebert, live posting the location of the Speaker of the House as the Capitol was overtaken by terrorists. I'm Greg Smith, and I've always stood up to America's enemies. This time is no different.